Hi everybody. Well, I noticed we ran out of drives and we just cannot do that at all, can we? Nope, nope. Have to keep the drives going every day for you guys. So today we're going to drive up to Kingston and take a ferry across and that'll dump us right down in downtown Edmonds, which will be just right down the street from my house, okay? Or my Linwood house, I should say. So Alma to Kingston's today. Thank you guys for being here. Let's go. Ooh, that's up. That's going. Right, that's good. Um, we're defrosted. We need to be cleaned up a bit. I wish sure that's better. Uh, and then I need, I need driving directions. So we have a passenger with us. Are you going to say hi? Hello. There. See. He's on his on the phone passenger. <laughs> Off we go, guys. I know we have three of the four do five dogs with us today. We took Blind Boy with us. He wouldn't want leave me alone. So I think he's. And I'm the talking dog. No, you can say who you are if you want to. You don't have to say who you are if you don't want to. <laughs> oh, I think everybody knows my voice. Yeah, I think they do too. It's pretty foggy today, guys. <laughs> But they can guess. Yeah, guess who it is. Find out who it is. Put it in the description. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we are getting coffee soon because I didn't have any at the house. Yeah. First one to guess it wins. Wait, what do they win? I don't know. What do you give them? I don't know. I, <laughs> I just said they won. Okay. Off we go. So it's going to take us on 12, so hopefully we'll be by the coffee place. Look at how foggy it is, you guys. It's supposed to be nice for the next, like, week and a half. But look at it. it can't even see this morning. But we're in the valley, so this is going to make, I know, a great video. <laughs> well, it's just after 11.30 here, and I'm still having coffee, so. Yeah, it's uh, 8, 8.38 here, so we're early. But we're going to, this is going to take us a little bit longer than the other way. Um, I chose to go up and back a bit. I didn't want to take you all on the very fast roads. I wanted to get you on some of the other ones. But you guys like you it. You mean you can be more slow than you already are? Yeah, I can be. It's amazing. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Oh! I just threw Tommy. Oh, I mean, that person on the floor. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let's well, that was kind of a giveaway. Oh, yeah, sorry. I blew it. I threw you on the floor, but... You blew it. I... Nobody wins nothing. <laughs> Yes, you do. You win a drive with us. Okay, so who's opposed to me super gluing the stand on my dash? Oh, I'm totally opposed. Put it on the windshield. Super glue it on the windshield? Yeah, you, they have phone holders and GoPro holders that all go on GoPro mounts. Do, yeah. the, do the peel and stick on the windshield. Oh, okay, because what happens is this, so it's a peel and stick thing I can find. This, this keeps falling off of everything and it's really super irritating. Well, the, the GoPro mounts, um, I bought a box of, I think, 20 of yeah. the mounts. Yeah. So you get like five curved and, you know, uh -huh. five flats uh -huh. or 10 curved and 10 flats for curved surfaces. And I and I put them on my windshield. Yeah, see, I have that uh, one that has the suction cup. Yeah. And then no matter what I do, if it's on the windshield or on the dash, when the when it gets cold and hot, it falls right off. It's really irritating. They're worthless. That's why. Yeah. That's why I put the GoPro mount on the glass. Okay. Because after so much time, you're going to replace the glass anyway. Oh, that's true too. You know, when I get a rock in the middle of it, it blows out my face or something beautiful like that. Something, yeah. Yeah, you guys will be there for it, won't you? <laughs> now they're all going to. But you be can also. Watching for but you can also. You can also put it up as high as the mirror or mm -hmm. as low as the dash, whatever, wherever you want to. So put it in your hand and move it around and say, oh, I think I like this position the best. They're a good deal. I'll yes, sir. They are. Um, about where the card is on the left. Yep. Wow, it's so oh, foggy, foggy. It's cool. Your back's hurting? Old man, old man. I did those two, obviously. Mm -hmm. If those two are on your list, 86 and whatever that one is, they're done. So as all you guys can see, Tommy is alive and well. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I'm alive and well. He's alive. Yeah, I figured I had to rake him anyway. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and just did the whole thing. Oh, okay. Well, 85 and 6 are done. Yep. Wow. Spooky, spooky. So, you guys, some of you might have noticed, known, but not, because I know all of you guys don't watch everything, but um, Joseph and Jordan got the keys yesterday to their very first apartment, and their brother-in-law went through it and made a big no-no-no list and handed it over to the... Um, in fact, there's there's a bit of mold under the sink too. Not a lot, just a little. Handed it back to the owner and said, "Fix it." So I was really happy that that Alex volunteered and wanted to go help the boys with their first apartment, with their first walkthrough. So Jordan's meeting up with the cleaner today, and um, he's going to go down the list, and then the maintenance man gets the whole other list. Those guys rock. They've been very helpful. Um, Alex and Karina with the boys, which is very nice. Um, cool, cool, cool addition to the family. <laughs> but uh, so we'll see. Today was supposed to be one more moving day for the Elma house, but Jordan's super excited to get his big stuff in. I kind of wanted him to go to sleep instead of doing that, but we'll see. Um, when I get up there, we'll see because it's still early. Exciting stuff happening. I'm becoming an empty nester. Ah. What will I do with my time? I think this is going to take us right past coffee. Yes. I'm going to have to get three pup cups today. Oh my gosh. I don't need a water though. I still have half my water from yesterday. Oh, oh, somebody else is calling through. Hold on, I got a switch. Hello? Hello? Hi, Kelly. Hi, yeah. Good morning, it's Kenny from Robbins Air. How are you? Really good, how are you? Good, are you staying warm? Actually, I came home from an, uh, Linwood Run and the house was too hot. <gasps> too oh! hot? Well, you know you got air conditioning, right? Turned down the heat, let it sort itself <laughs> out, but it was like, oh, that has never happened in this house. <laughs> that's good, that's good. I'm excited because it was what, 33 up there in Elma this morning. Yeah, oh, yeah, very cold. I woke up nice and warm though. Thank you so much for what you guys have done. Thank you for everything. I was hoping I could bug you for one more thing though. Yes, yes. Can you go outside and get a picture of your outdoor unit, like a step back picture, and, and email that over to me? Um, well, I've already left the house, but yes, I can, and I actually have it in a video. I can take a print screen of the video. Does that help? That would be amazing, yes. Okay, or did you need the number, too? I got the number. I just need that step back, the, that step back, and then we're going to um, uh, get that sent right over to the PUD. Paige told me to do it. I didn't do it, okay. and uh, I, I need to make sure I'm not on her, her yeah, list her today. Yeah, she don't want to be yeah. on that. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Let me let me get to um, somewhere where I can stop, and I'll pop that right over, okay? Oh, yeah, whenever's convenient, so. Okay, thank you. All right, Thanks thank you, so Kelly, much. all right. I appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. That was the heating, guys. Are you back? Did it switch back over to you, buddy? I missed the coffee. I was talking on the phone. Well, let's see. Are you there? Well, some of it got missed, you guys. I just noticed it wasn't recording again. I wonder when that popped up. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's how it works with me though, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys missed the cute little town, I think. That's okay. It's because I was switching around phones and messing up stuff. So you missed a little of the ride, but we had actually been through that part before. From the other angle, we went the other way. I'm sorry about that. How long were you? How long were you uh, dead airing? Uh, ten minutes. I'm not on a live. I'm. I, I, I record now. My security. Uh, my security officer 
says that I should not do lives like that. So, and you know, we don't want my security officer to be upset. <laughs> so there's no driving and going live because I don't want people to know where I am. They get it in half an hour increments out for how many days? So this will be a two and a half hour drive and it'll be, how many days is that then, right? Five days. All of them. Yeah. Oh. Sorry guys, dead airing, yeah. You know, hey, you two can do a YouTube channel. It's just telling you, Grandma Kelly can, so can you. <laughs> If you can do it, anyone can. I know, right? I should be an inspiration to the world, just the fact that I do this all the time. <laughs> I mean, Kelly, I, the fact that you can walk and chew gum is an inspiration to me. Right? It should be. It should be because, you know, how I focus well. Okay, so what we're in right now is the, the um, uh, managed forest area. Oh, oh, we don't need to go that fast. That's too fast. Slow down. Slow down. What's my automatic setup? See, somebody didn't. There's another cross. Somebody didn't make it to that slow down. Mason County. We're in Mason County, and here's another sign up here. This is Olympic Tree Farm. So we're entering the Olympic Tree Farm. Speed limit is 50. I'm going sort of 50. Did you say sort of 50? Yeah, sort of 50. Does that mean it gets it over? Um, I don't know what that means. It's such a vague question. <laughs> There's sun coming through the trees. It's pretty here, guys. It's so pretty. The railroad track's up to our left, guys, and it is a working railroad track. You guys hear that at night all the time. Sort of 50. Now we gotta slow down. This curve is too fast, so we're going sort of. Ah, the guy behind me really wants to go 60. Ooh, look at that. Look at the sun through the trees. <gasps> Ooh, oh. Big truck, skinny road. Bad road, needs work. <laughs> That's okay, I'm in a truck. I have a truck, guys. Oh dude, a little key, I'll let you around me as soon as I can. Go a bazillion miles an hour. Ooh, look at the sun coming through. Oh, are you awake? I'm just testing you. Spy drive on the middle every so often. Make sure you guys are awake. Look at that sun. That's just cool. Dude, I ain't cool on 60. You could pass me. Good luck. <laughs> the car's in a hurry. And there's no turnout. And there's no edge. And there's no barrier to keep you on the road when you go over the side. <laughs> there's a pretty creek down there. That would be fun to walk. some farms. Now we're moving into some openings with farms. Of course, just past that. That's, cool. That's like a, that had a, like a new car in the middle of the field. That's wrong. It was sort of in a paddock type of thing. It's supposed to be an old car. They didn't get it right. Right to the rules. Oh, I could have pulled out there. Sorry, dude. I wasn't paying attention. Here, let's pull out over here and let him go. He wants to go super fast. We can, this is gonna be bumpy. Ready, bumpy? Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 oh. You guys okay? That was bumpy. There he goes. Go little Kia, go. Be free, be free. Don't let the old lady driving the speed limit slow you down. You guys okay? That was a little bumpy. I warned you in advance. A little bump is fun now and then. Kind of like. You're off or I'm off. One of us is off, guys. Mm -hmm. 
Look at the big trees. <coughs> okay, so you guys, I gotta tell you, we're in trouble here because Grandma's running without coffee. That is just bad. So bad. Gotta get some. Gotta actually pick up some by the store. I learned about using French presses from some of you guys, and that's made me much smarter coffee drinker. French press is smooth. It makes everything super smooth. Every time there's one of these big yellow fences, almost always it's by the logging people. It's owned by the logging people. Sorry for the dogs, because all five, well, excuse me, I'm burping on you. That's just rude. I need coffee. All five of them want to go with me every day, but it's like I can't take all five of them. It's more than I can handle out. It's not like I do anything but drop them off in the yard at Linwood and go do stuff and then pick them up and drive them back home. But oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Valley. Oh, that's beautiful, right? I wonder if we're going to see any elk or deer. Not moose. They're not moose. I know that. I was confused the other day. <laughs> I was super tired. Oh, look at those moose. It was no elk. Elk. Yeah, I know. I know they're elk. <laughs> I do know the difference. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's for sale, guys. There you go. For sale. <laughs> We lost our companion. Our driving companion's gone. The phone went dead. But he's doing good for everybody who's ass. He, he does good. We touch base almost daily. Yeah, I remember this house. I've been here before, too. I remember that blue house. Huh. See? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. After a while, you know. We're gonna turn again. Oh, we're gonna have 101 up here. Oh, look at all that junk in the yard. Wow. Piles of stuff. No, we're not gonna let that happen at our farmhouse. I want you guys to be able to come and visit the farm. I mean, it's not that great of a thing, I get that, but um, on the second round of electricity, we're gonna get a. Um, hookup, a 50 amp hookup put in. I'm also going to widen out my driveway and fill it full of gravel. I'll trim it and gravel it. I'm going to do that work myself. Don't do the electric work. I don't do the roof and gutters. No roof, no gutters, no electricity and minimal plumbing. Are you back? Sorry, I lost you for a minute. Phone call coming in messes up stuff. I have to remember that so I can fix it. <laughs> Once the phone call's on, it's okay. That's odd because it's on a different phone that's calling, but we're good. Nope, I think my map will come up now. Uh, map. Oh, map. Oh, nope, it's the map on the wrong phone. Never mind. Ooh, what's that? Propane, big propane place. had a worker on it. Huh. We need to take a second and flip these phones around so I can get directions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can unplug this too. You guys are charged pretty good. I'll unplug you. Let's see if that helps me. US 101 North toward Port oh, Angeles. That helps. Let's do that. That works good. I think you guys are pretty much at a full battery. I still get a warning I'll plug you back in. So this is Port Angeles, it's saying. 
35, 35. Slow your roll, girl. No. Yes, yeah, slow down. Do they have do they have a Starbucks? I know. She's such a Starbucks whore. Don't tell anybody. That's just like pathetic. I should be able to go have drink coffee at any place. But when I have a choice, I always get Starbucks because I don't know. Loser. Let's see. I don't see any Starbucks, but we're okay. I'm going to turn on to 101 up here. Oh, this is neat. Cool, cool gas station. That's quite a gas station. Holy cannoli. Oh, 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 can't see. There we go. Boom. Turn left onto US 101 North okay, toward now Port we're Angeles. On 101 going towards Port Angeles. That's not Port Angeles. I don't know what that was, but it was cool. That was a really nice gas station. And then right behind the gas station, they had a big, huge RV park, which would be a very good place for like a pit stop. I don't know what there is to do around here. It's very, very pretty, but it was a very open slot, slot, slot for um, trailers. You know what I'm saying? Not winding around in the in the woods or anything like that. It was right out the back of the gas station, but it looked like it would be a good place really to take a breather if you were the driver for a day or two. For about 58 miles, continue straight. Okay, so we're where we need to be for 58 miles. We're going to pop off here as soon as we see coffee. There might not be any. No, I know. Why not? So we're on Highway 101 right now. Look at the Cascade Mountains. I'm going to mess it up. Beautiful. Can you see it? Does it pick it up? Might be too far away. Taylor Station. So are we in Taylor? Is that a place? I don't know. Have RV sales though, big time. Speed limit 60. Oh, there's a camper thing. That's a pretty farm. Again, though, it's right here on the on the main highway. Ooh, that house is falling down. Down to down to down. Look at the mountains, guys. Can you see them yet? Or are they still too far out of your view? Got directions up. Sliding down. That's beautiful, man. Super pretty. How pretty? Super pretty. Washington Home Center. They do homes and sheds. Nice. So we're going to do this for 56 miles. If we wanted to go to Bremerton, that has another ferry that puts you in Seattle. That would be this exit here, but we don't want to. We're gonna to go to Kingston. And why Kingston? That puts us in Edmonds, which is 196. And if you take 196 straight up and jog over a few blocks, you're at the Linwood House. It's that simple, right? Verls, what is Verls? Verls is a uh, storage? Storage. Oh, the mountains are gorgeous, guys. Ah. Why have I been driving Stay on left five? Lane. I should have been driving this way the whole time. This is so much more prettier than I-5. Holy cannoli, we're doing this. That's it, I'm done, we're doing Kingston. I'll pay the ferry. Let's go see how much the ferry is first. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're doing this road instead. It's so much prettier. I bet though it gets hit with snow, but we're kind of like moving out of that, so maybe not. We're gonna do this on the way home too. So glad I picked this way. Now I kind of picked the 
This is not the most direct way. There was another way that was a few minutes faster, but this takes me up and back a little bit, so I wanna see what that's about. One is like one of the big highways um, for going places. zoom in. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. <laughs> We're at passing city center of Matlock, Matlock, Washington. It's Matlock, Washington. Oh, there's a Ford dealer out here. Mm, 
it's still 45. Why am I going so slow? I don't know. I'm kind of looking at nobody's on my bottom yet, but they're coming. Group is coming, so I need to speed it up. Hidden Haven Senior Home 55 and older mobile home place. That's not looking so good. Take care of your old people, folks. Do they have kayaks at that tractor supply? Oh my gosh. Sanderson Field. Yeah, it's huge. Wow. State Patrol Academy. Mm. Washington Correctional Center. Going to the prison, folks. We're going to the prison. Still make sure we're doing the speed limit because um, you should. And don't pick up any hitchhikers, especially if they're in orange. Right? Washington Correctional Center. <gasps> Look at the mountain. 